Many heads of state are attending the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, including the Israeli president, Shimon Peres. CCTV's Shwesi Tandon sat down with him and started by asking him about the similarities between Israel and China. What is similar in the Chinese culture and the Jewish or Israeli culture is on an end, you have the depth of history. You weren't born yesterday. And history is not just events, it's also philosophy and doubt. On the other hand, you have the guts to look at the future. Don't forget what happened, but don't ignore what's going on. We are like you, on a smaller side. Israel is in a very precarious region. You have uh, Syria using chemical weapons. You have uh, nuclear development programs in Iran. We see rocket launches between Lebanon and Gaza. In your opinion, what is the single biggest security threat to the Middle East? Not only for the region, but for everybody, it's terror. But terror doesn't have borders, doesn't have law, doesn't have a feeling for people. And now we can see how terror is destroying the Arab world. Small groups divided, dividing, just killing people. Nobody knows what for. Nobody knows the reasons for it. And they go around from uh, Moscow to New York, and they arrive at every place. Now, it's a destroyer of the civilization. And I think it won't take a long time before the civilized world will come together and say enough is enough. At the United Nations General Assembly last year, your Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says that uh, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani should not be trusted because, and I quote, he is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Do you agree with the comments made by Prime Minister Netanyahu? I usually don't make remarks about the uh, declaration of my own Prime Minister. I'm not a critic of our Prime Minister. But I would say that their behave the Iranians in a foolish way. Their great leader says that he's against nuclear bombs. By religion, if he's against nuclear bombs, why does he waste so much money of a poor people to enrich uranium, to build nuclear missiles, to spread terror all over the world? What for? He doesn't have a future. And believe me, I believe deep in my heart that even Iran, the young Iranians will a day come and change this wrong way. Do you think the United States should not lift its sanctions uh, from Iran? Better sanctions than war. Because if you don't have sanctions, you'll have terror. It's not out of the ple uh, pleasure that people woke up and introduced sanctions. In Syria, don't have sanctions. Is it better? 130,000 people were killed, 600,000 were wounded. Three, billion, three million are refugees, my God. Better sanctions, because sanctions you can stop the minute you stop being a terrorist. How hopeful are you that a peaceful resolution can be made between the Israelis and the Palestinians? First of all, I think I'm so young that I have enough time to do so. I think yes, because there is also a young generation on the Palestinian side, on the Israeli side. And I think, uh, you know, if you're poor and blind, you don't know what poverty is. But if you're poor and you have, say, a smartphone, all of a sudden you see there are people who are not poor. And already hundreds of millions have the eyes of electronics, the eyes of science, and they will do it. And we don't have an alternative, and you know what? There is no reason why we should hate each other. You've been politically active for over 60 years. Uh, in fact, your seven-year presidential term will be coming to an end in July this year. What is the legacy you would like to leave behind? What would you like to be remembered for? I don't have a legacy. I'm a person who tries to serve his people. I hope that the greatest thing in my life is the thing that I shall do tomorrow, not the things I did yesterday. But basically, I hope I serve my people honestly. I shall be happy in my tomb if I shall be sure that I saved the life of some children or other people. That will be, in my eyes, the greatest legacy I can think of. 
President Shimon Peres was quite optimistic and hopeful for the future of the Middle Eastern region. However, he was not afraid to express his disappointment towards uh, Iran and especially the Iranian President Hassan Rouhani. Earlier today, Hassan Rouhani spoke at a press conference and President Shimon Peres says that it was a missed opportunity by the Iranian president to extend an olive branch to the Israelis.